What you doing, Doug? So we're checking in on the cover crops from overwintering. This was a bed of Swiss chard in um, last summer and fall. And in August, planted a mix of um, Austrian winter pea and oats. Um, so the oats grew, they all grew, and then the oats died. So this is some of the residual oat, um, which is adding a lot of just cover and biomass to the top of the soil and the roots decompose. <clears throat> the Austrian winter pea overwintered, um, and this is going to grow in the spring a little bit. Um, and then we'll be able to harvest the greens from the winter pea and then also then turn it in at a certain point so that it becomes a green manure and helps to feed the soil. But just wanted to check in and show what what this is starting to do and how it looks. And um, so this is the, the peas. And then just digging up a little bit. Let me show you what the roots are looking like. So this these plants are taken the sunshine and turning it into food for the soil and partly through this these are nodules where um, the plant the peas have a relationship with um, a bacteria that live in those nodules and those bacteria are helping to take um, nitrogen from the air and turn it into a, a different form of nitrogen that is available plant food so the nitrogen that's currently in the in the in the air that we breathe, plants can't really use that. Um, but this, these bacteria, uh, help um, the plant to use that uh, nitrogen by turning it into um, a form that it can use. So, what are you going to do with the plant when you need to plant veggies in your garden, and when are you going to do that? Yeah. So, this these guys are going to grow up a good bit, um, and as they grow, they're kind of supporting and putting more sugars out into the soil, um, taking more nitrogen from the air and putting that into the soil. Um, I'm going to plant in here probably um, early summer or late uh, late spring. A couple weeks before I do that, I'll cut, come in and cut the, uh, the peas and broad fork the peas to aerate the roots um, and that will kill the plants. You cut the top, you're going to leave the root systems in place. Yep, leave the root systems in place. Just cut the top so that it stops photosynthesizing and the aeration will um, bring air to the roots and it'll um, start to die. Mm -hmm. And so two two weeks later, about I'll come back in and then just pull pull back the, the dead plant matter, all of those roots now becoming soil and you know turning into the, the soil that we'll plant in. And then just make either a, a furrow plant the seeds or make spaces and transplant um, the the rooting plant, the tomatoes and peppers and such that, that we'll be planting at that time. Um, so this, yeah, this will be planted in a few few months, um, harvesting the greens in between. Great. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.